Everybody loves wealth, all-inclusive services and large portions, each to their own taste. But how would you like it if in a cafe you were served half a burger instead of a menu you ordered? What if you were visiting a car dealership and instead of the car you liked, they offered you only the steering wheel and two front seats? Undoubtedly, this would cause anger and frustration from wasting time and money. However, in the world of cryptocurrencies, such an approach is necessary. In this episode, we'll learn what halvening is, its importance, and how it affects cryptocurrencies. Many cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin work in the following manner. Users connect their computers to the blockchain network and give away the computing power to process data blocks. In reward for this, they receive new issued units of cryptocurrency and or commission fees. And that's what we come to know as the process of mining. However, from time to time, the reward for mining is cut in half due to something called the halvening. This waste of potential is necessary to prevent inflation, raise demand, and increase competition among the miners. Since cryptocurrencies is a limited resource, it is thereby impossible to simply issue more coins as central banks do. Besides, when it comes to bitcoins, there are very few of them by modern day standards, only 21 million. So for the purpose of prolonging the currency's lifetime until, let's say, 2140, the halvening is a necessary process. Let's figure out how this works. The halvening does not happen on its own. This planned event isn't tied to a particular date and instead depends on the height of the crypto block. For instance, the Bitcoin halvening occurs every four years or every 2100,000 blocks. The halvening of the award this year will occur at a block number of 630,000 sometime around May. The first division occurred 2012. On this graph, you can trace the correlation of Bitcoin value before and after the halvening. Based on the data of the past halvenings, we can predict what will happen to Bitcoin right up to 2028. If in 2009, the first Genesis block generated 50 Bitcoins, then by 2028, miners will be rewarded with a measly 1.56 Bitcoins. However, the term is applicable to any cryptocurrency which can be mined and works using the proof of work algorithm. A good example of that is Litecoin, which was created relatively recently in 2011. Its maximum emission is four times more than Bitcoin's 84 million coins. Despite this advantage, Litecoin halvenings are held at the same frequency as Bitcoins, once every four years. This can be explained with basic math. Litecoin blocks are extracted four times more often than BTC. One other important factor is hash rate, the total processing power of mining equipment. In case you've forgotten, this is how it works. The hash rate increases if the new members join the mining network. This affects the network's computing power and, respectively, it takes less time to find the block than it would with the lower hash rate. Incidentally, here you can see a visual display of Bitcoin's network power, taking into account previous halvings. Don't go running to buy mining equipment, expecting work to be easier for you. Bitcoin's main paradox is far more complex than anything you've seen on Doctor Who. The creator of ETN, Vitalik Buterin, in his article for the Bitcoin magazine, explained the halvening mechanisms with a simple example. Bitcoin is intended to stimulate a commodity like gold. There's only a limited amount of gold in the world, and with every gram of gold that is mined, the gold that is still remains becomes harder and harder to extract. As a result of this limited supply, gold has maintained its value as an international medium of exchange and store of value for over 6,000 years. And the hope is that Bitcoin Will do the same. This simple example illustrates perfectly the cryptocurrency hash rate. Also, in addition to Litecoin and Bitcoin, another young crypto, Ethereum, has entered the halvening trail. Here is where it gets even more complicated than the previous cases. The reduction in remuneration to miners in Ether is controlled manually at the time of the next fork. More precisely, not even a fork, but an update of the program consisting of several stages, Byzantium, Metropolis, and Constantinople. But we can tell you more about it in other videos, especially if you like this one. In the meantime, we move on with Bitcoins. So we found out that halvening, as its name suggests, halves the reward of the miner, which cryptocurrencies are subject to. And now it's time to move on to the forecast of experts and analysts. Digital Asset Research believes that in May 2020, Bitcoin could rise in $60,595,000 per unit. The assumption is based on an analysis of the Bitcoin price behavior in cycles between previous halvings. According to studies, if the identified model repeats itself, 
a new peak in the Bitcoin prices will happen in September 2021. And with the next happening in 2024, it will reach around $732,000 per unit. In addition, the German bank, Bayerische Landesbank, came to the conclusion that the upcoming halvening will allow Bitcoin to approach gold in terms of stock to flow, S2F. Gold's S2F is equal to 58, and by May 2020, it isn't going to change much. But for Bitcoin, it's going to grow from 28.5 to 53. Here is a clear graph that shows how Bitcoin can do so well and catch up with gold, platinum, and other precious metals. If the model proposed by the bank's specialist is correct, the halving of 2024 is going to increase the strengths of Bitcoin to the highest level in history of mankind, over 100. Having saved the best for last, let's see if it's possible to make money on halving. If you are a risk-taking optimist, then you can adhere to the classic strategy. Invest at the time of growth two to three months before the halving, and then raise the dough in recession due to the outflow of miners. Well, if you are a practical realist, then most likely, earning the such methods is not for you. After all, the cryptocurrency market behavior is really difficult to predict. To add to the happening itself, one should take into account the complexity of mining, the commission share, the other such factors. Besides, happening is strictly individual to each crypt. In general, it's better to keep your Bitcoins warm. Stay tuned for the latest news and always stay on trend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and never miss a video about the world of blockchain technologies. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Ah, before you go, please note that this content does neither represent legal or tax advice, nor is it supposed to be understood or interpreted as solicitation to buy or sell any securities, coins, or tokens. Thank you for watching.